Hi, welcome to my book room. In this video, I'd like to tell you as much as I can about Hiridula majuscula, the Australian giant rainforest mantis. In future videos, I'd like to continue this series with all the other species that I keep. There's quite a few. So why don't you click like, subscribe, and don't forget to tickle my bell so you don't miss a thing. When you hear the words praying mantis, you think of a slender green assassin. And this species will not disappoint. She is a lean green killing machine. This species sports the traditional triangle shaped head with two very large eyes on either side. She is capable of seeing in stereoscopic vision pretty much the same as you or I. This gives her prey very, very little chance of escape. And the fact that she can turn her head 180 degrees gives them almost no chance. Like many other animals, for example, the scorpion, the front legs of the mantis have evolved to become raptoral which enables them to strike and hold on to their prey. And once you're in the mantis's embrace, you're not going anywhere. As they're opportunistic hunters, in the wild they will have a wide and varied diet. And as a keeper, you should try your best to offer that same variety wherever possible to keep your mantis healthy and happy. Although you can feed your mantis with crickets, um, it is advisable not to give them too many as crickets can contain uh, a parasite or bacteria that can cause harm to your animal. So I would advise against it even though I do myself give them the odd cricket here and there mainly for videos because they're wonderfully inquisitive and sooner or later they come dancing in front of a mantis which makes for good footage. If you are going to feed your mantis waxworms and mealworms then be very aware that these guys will at the first chance burrow into the substrate and vanish forever and your mantis will get his dinner. Also be aware that if you're going to feed these spiders keep your eye out. You need to make sure that the mantis eats the spider or you remove the spider if it isn't eaten. Do not leave it in there. It will make a web and it will cause your mantis problems. In fact, if your mantis is small enough, it will eat your mantis. You must be careful not to overfeed a mantis, especially when it's an adult. As you can see this one here, if you look at the abdomen, here you can see that it's quite flat. This will swell as you feed them. So if it's flat it's hungry. If it's full and plump then he's had enough because a mantis will still keep on eating even after being full. He spotted me. Like all living things mantis die this particular species can manage a year, a year and a half if the conditions are just right. And that means keeping the temperature and the humidity and their bellies full and not much else. They're a fantastic pet for that reason as they don't take up a lot of your time and if you've got a busy life and want a pet then this is the pet for you. It's much, much easier to keep a mantis than it would be to go out and buy yourself a beagle. Now as far as temperature is concerned you must remember these are from northern Australia and it's quite warm and humid where they live. Now the average temperature there that I've checked up today was 26 degrees over the year but it can drop as low as 20 maybe even 19 in the winter. So, a rule of thumb for a mantis is if you're comfortable with the temperature, 
the mantis will be comfortable with the temperature and the hotter it is the quicker their metabolism works and the shorter their lifespan will be so if you want to keep them at 30 go ahead and do so they'll be fine but be aware that they won't live as long so I like to keep mine between 20 and 24 and they seem to get a reasonable lifespan out of that now as for humidity tweak it up a little bit when they're going into ecdysis or molting um, possibly between 70 and 80 percent humidity you can buy a, a cheap uh, meter which is less than uh, five dollars or three quid if you're English um, and that can keep a, a good eye on, on when they need spraying as well because they are going to need a bit of a water spray in their in their tank now and again um, just to make sure that humidity stays around where they, they would like it um, we've gone through temperature we've gone through humidity now these guys also like a bit of airflow um, you can go to the extremes as I do and put fans above their enclosures or you can simply have an enclosure that has uh, holes drilled in the sides of it to allow airflow not too big though you don't want any of their prey escaping through the holes well that's all I've got time for today if you liked it like and subscribe and don't forget to tickle my bell so you can uh, get the next one the next one should be about the dead leaf mantis, which is what this one was supposed to be about. But this morning she decided to start shedding, so I can't really take her out. And I had to quickly change my mind and go for the giant rainforest mantis instead. I also do terrarium builds, so check those out. Leave a comment below if you want to, and I'll see you next time. Bye!